To update your Chaos, just follow these easy steps. First, follow the link under the video to the Silicon Labs driver page. Click on the Downloads section, find the driver that is compatible with your device, download it, and install it. Next, follow the link to the st.com cube programmer page and find the program install file compatible with your device. To download the software, you will either have to have an st.com account or leave your name and email address. There are no fees to register and download. To download the firmware, just follow the link to clank.eu slash chaos and download the firmware file from the link at the bottom of the page. After you have downloaded and installed everything, make sure your Chaos module isn't attached to any kind of power source. With a micro USB to USB cable, connect the Chaos module to your computer while holding down the boot button that you will find on the backside of the module. Once this is done, you may release the boot button. Now, open the Cube Programmer. Select the UART and the correct port. On Mac devices, it should appear as so. On Windows, it is usually the COM port with the highest number. If the port should not be listed, try refreshing the port list. If this doesn't work as well, try repeating the boot process. Once you have selected the correct port, click on Connect. Your device should be recognized immediately. Next, click on Open File. Find the firmware.bin file and open it. Click on download and the firmware should be installed within seconds. Once the firmware is downloaded, click on disconnect. To finalize the update, you need to clear the EEPROM. Power up your case while holding down the chaos encoder. Release the encoder when the 10 LED bar turns purple and the last LED is blinking. Press probability to clear the EEPROM. Wait until the LEDs turn off, then press the encoder six times to exit the calibration mode. Should chaos be frozen after this process, turn the encoder all the way to the right to select all channels and double tap the memory access button. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was useful.